Hi guys, uh, I hope you are doing well and I congratulate you for choosing to walk the ascension path because it's a really really difficult path, okay? And you need a certain level of uh, warrior spirit to walk this ascension path and it's hell tough, it's tough as hell. So I wanted to share that, see we judge our twins, we judge our twins because they are in the matrix, they are disconnected from the spiritual realm and all the knowledge that we have, we judge them because they are with their twin flame, they are with their karmics, they are not with their twin flames and they are married to their karmics, they are having a relationship with their karmics. But the thing is, it's all a karmic bond, you know, when you have a certain amount of karmic baggage with someone, okay, you are drawn to that person, it's called attachment, okay, you're drawn to that person and it's really, really hard to let go, it's hard, it's hard, okay, and the advantage with the divine feminines is that we have the techniques we have the tools like for example the divine masculines are very strong very good with money and power in this world really good with power dynamics they're really good with money and grounding but they do not have the higher chakra skills of transmuting karmic contracts which we can do okay so the advantage with us is through our sadhana we can transmute the karmic contracts okay but believe me guys it's really really tough to be on the twin flame journey to be true to your twin when you have handsome guys wanting to date you <laughs> like seriously when you have handsome guys wanting to date you wanted to take you out you want And even when you try to let go, they just don't budge. They just kind of stick around and you just like their energy so much. And, and you know, see, this is, this is how it works with the divine masculines, you know. This is how karmics feel, okay. And it might not always be a karmic. It can also be a soulmate. It can also be a soulmate and it can be bloody tough, bloody tough because on one hand you have your twin who is completely denying the connection and suppressing his emotions and treating you like he doesn't feel anything for you and on the other hand sometimes you have a karmic or you have a soulmate who expresses their love for you, who who gives you joy basically, who wants to be there for you, you know, who wants to do everything for you that you're doing is supposed to do, okay? And this is how the karmic dynamic kind of works. It gets really, really tough at this point. It really gets really, really tough. But sometimes you cannot turn back. You cannot turn back. Because sometimes these dynamics are temporary. Sometimes these dynamics are test. So you should sort of explore it, explore your strengths and weaknesses in relation to it. It also helps you to judge your twin less. It helps you to understand the karmic debt situation your twin is in with his karmic even better. And it also helps you to do more spiritual work so that you can get rid of the karmic debt and stop attracting karmics and stop having this attraction towards them that kind of distracts you from your goal. Distracts you from your goal. And when you do the karmic clearing, your twin is also freed from that 
dead your brain is also freed from that dead and because guys there is a mission there is a mission there is a work that has to be done and it is so much more than the material pleasures and joys that any karmic or soulmate can give you yes you can be really good friends but that's it that's it That's why I'm saying this path is only for the select soldiers, you know. Like in the army, you have the training, you have the training and like half of them give up, you know, half of them never make it to the army. They don't. You have to have that kind of endurance, you have to have that kind of a stamina, especially in the front of... really handsome karmics or soulmates <laughs> seriously seriously okay so i'm just sharing a bit of what happens during this journey and how it goes sometimes sometimes you're facing a really tough period in your life and the universe sends some people just to brighten you up, you know, just to brighten you up just for a little while. You know, so sometimes it can be just a friendship, a beautiful friendship. Sometimes it can be a soulmate who's meant to be a friend. Sometimes it can even be a karmic where you have to learn some lessons, balance out some karma, karma, karmic imbalances that you have in your soul. And just, just have a joy for some time because you've been passing through some dark phase or something like that, you know. So there are many reasons. And if you're confused, just increase the hours of sadhana that you get to invest in, okay. So this is what I had to share with you and I will see you again next time. Have fun.